um, being able to you know, attack the, the uh, off-season program like they wanted me to. You know, they challenged me to get stronger. I feel like I get stronger. I mean, I I feel like I need to get a lot more stronger, which come with the summertime. So, but for right now, I feel like I'm in a good place strength-wise. How much of a leadership role are you taking on the defensive line now that you know Taylor and Ulrich are gone? Well, with the, well, me transitioning from a young guy to an older guy now, you know, it's a big thing for me. For me, instead of having to ask those guys what to do, now guys asking me what to do. So I feel like I need to be able to know what to do at all times to let the younger guys know what to do, you know, and let I need to let them know, like, be able to separate when time to when it's time to play and when it's time to work. So. I'm still trying to do that too. So, what's your weight right now? Uh, two, two ninety six. Is that about where you want to be? Yes, sir. Where you want to play? Yes, sir. You surprised some people last year. Did you surprise yourself? Definitely. You know, just throughout the season, first game to the last game. You know, I feel like I've got better. I had got better, so I definitely surprised myself throughout the whole season. How much better do you expect to be from Outback Bowl? until September 1st. Man, for me, only time year. will tell. Only time will tell. You know, I can't just go out and make predictions now. Only time will tell. I mean, I feel as though I can be as good as I want to be. So, Do you set goals? Are you a goal-setting guy like all SEC, et cetera, et cetera, or do you just let it come? I just let it come. I don't, I don't set goals. That ain't what I do. So. Do the coaches ask you to take any more responsibility with, with some of those veterans in the interior moving on, or is that something you just kind of – do, sort of take on yourself almost? Um, it's a little bit of both. You know, I put it on myself to, like I said, know what to do at all times in case somebody has something to ask me. And Coach Thompson, the line coach, he wants me to kind of lead, lead the younger guys, me and Care. So. What have you seen from some of the, the newcomers in the interior of the, offense, of the defensive line? Well, I mean, I see that they, they all can play. So, I mean, I feel like, I feel as though all of them will have a chance to play. So, any of them stand out particularly pop to you early in spring? Uh, JJ, I like JJ. You know, he a pretty smooth guy. You know, it, it comes natural to him, like pass rush. It, it's real natural to him. You know, he look good. So. Anything else, Chris? What's your overall impression of the defensive line? I mean, we came a long way. You know, I mean, we still got a long ways to go. Yeah. But I feel as though I, I like where we're heading. I like the direction we're heading. So, how far has MJ Webb come since he got on campus last year? And he's come a long way. You know, he he still got a long ways to go. We all do. So, I mean, he, he's a worker. You know, he works hard. You know, he does everything that he's supposed to do. You know, he he tries to learn everything. So, he's a strong guy. He's gotten stronger too. Also. For you, I mean, you started showing up last year and people started noticing you. Now they're talking about you. Is this your breakthrough season? Only time will tell, man. I ain't making no predictions or nothing like that. I'm not a prediction guy, really. So I, only time will tell. I'm just going to keep working and do what I got to do to put myself in the best position. Have you kind of emerged as a locker room leader? I'm not really. I don't really talk much. I just lead by example, I guess. I try to lead by example. You see guys following you? I mean, I don't, I don't really pay attention like that. Maybe I need to pay attention to guys more, you know. But I mean, I just do. I keep my head down and, and, and work hard. So that's what I do. Are you ahead of where you thought you would be at this point in, in your second year here? I feel like I'm, I'm right where I need to be as of right now. I feel like I can get a lot better, though. Like, so far, I feel like I've had a couple good days, but I feel like it's not, it's not like as best as I can be. So I feel like I can get better. With, with some of the young defensive linemen are here, what have you seen from those guys these first what, four practices or so? I mean, some of them, some of them show flashes. That well, all of them show flashes that they can they can be good. So, I mean, I just like one of the guys I like is JJ. You know, he, he's real he's real smooth with his pass rush. You know, it's real natural for him. So, what's the biggest adjustment for a young defensive lineman who's trying to, I guess, get his feet under him at this level? Um, just not to get frustrated, you know. Sometimes it's frustrating for a young guy. Sometimes you feel like you don't know what you're doing or maybe you're a little tired out there. But just just to keep your head out there, that, that's the main thing. Especially when I was a young guy, that's what it was for me, just keeping my head out there, not getting frustrated, not getting down on myself. You know, take uh, constructive criticism, you know, things like that. When coaches yell at you, don't, don't get mad. So that type of things like that.
Did you and Zach Bailey ever rep against each other last season in practice, whether one-on-ones or anything like that? Uh, not really. You know, he was playing tackle, but this year, right. you know, we get a lot of good reps in at practice, you know, things like that. Like I say, iron sharp as iron, so we can only make each other better. Yeah, because I saw y'all what, Monday or whatever yeah. going against each other in the drill. Yeah, and that's every day, though. That's every day. So mainly in practice, I try to line up on his side all the time as much as I can. So I feel like I feel like he, he he's going to – He's going to uh, get me where I need to be before the season. So. How does he compare to guys that you came across uh, during games last season? During games? I mean, so he's, he's a lot better than some of the guys that I played against. No offense to those guys, but, yeah, he's definitely stronger. He's a, he's, he's faster. You know? He definitely he, he definitely knows what he's doing out there. So that's what I like to do. That's the best. He's gonna give me the best the best uh, opportunity to be the best as I can. Hopefully, I'm doing the same for him. Yeah. yeah. Javon, there's some talk about a barber shop and a recording studio in that new building over there. Where would you spend more of your time? Oh, you know, I'm gonna I'm be in that studio, put my bars on the track. You know what I'm saying? Show I got a little flow with my notepad out. You know, I've been writing some stuff down. You know what I'm saying? How, you've been writing be stuff down. Almost. Oh, how, how many? How many songs you got? I got about well, two. I got two in the. I got two in the book. You know what I'm saying? Ready to get on. Ready to get on the track. You know what I'm saying? Now, have those just been prepared ever since you heard about those plays over there. Or you've been working on that for a while. I mean, I don't know. I just be messing around a lot. But like, I feel like I've been working on it for a little while now. I feel like I don't know. I just I just want to do something funny in there, you know what I'm saying? So when the time comes, I'm gonna be ready for it. <laughs> Who's the best rapper on the team? KT, Kia Thomas, hands down. You know, he a, he a freestyler. He don't got a right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think it's KT. Appreciate it. Thanks, John.